On this board, we're talking about how to achieve your FI number. Now, what is your FI number? Well, first, let me give you some background. The concept of the FI number, which is your financial independence number, the concept of your financial independence number comes from the FIRE movement, the FIRE movement. Now, what does FIRE stand for? Well, FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. And the basic premise of the FIRE movement is to build enough financial wealth to give yourself the freedom to choose the option of not working, right? Now, because in this position, in this position, you have the power to choose your lifestyle, such as when you want to work, how much you want to work, and what type of work you want to do. You have freedom, you have options. You know, one of the definitions of being wealthy is having options. It's really not so much about having money, it's about having options, options, freedom, flexibility, right? Now, you get to that position by achieving your FI number, your financial independence number. Now, how do you calculate your FI number? Well, it is based on the 4% rule, the 4% rule, which means upon retirement, you can safely withdraw 4% of your investments without exhausting your funds, right? It's a general rule of thumb, general rule of thumb. So to calculate your FI number, take the annual amount of money that you plan to live on and divide it by 0.04, right? In other words, you're dividing it by 4%, right? But when you put it into the calculator, of course, you're going to divide by 0.04, right? Now, here's some examples. If you plan to live on $40,000 per year in retirement, right? Then that means that your FI number is $1 million, right? Because if you take the 40,000 and divide it by 0.04, you get 1 million, right? Here's another example. If you plan to live on $60,000 per year, then your FI number is 1.5 million, right? Because if you take 60,000 and divide it by 0.04, you get 1.5 million, right? Now, how do you achieve your FI number? How do you achieve that, right? Well, Follow the framework of financial priorities, all right? It's a formula. It's a formula that I've developed called the framework of financial priorities, all right? Number one, tied, tied. You want to give away a portion of your income because it's so important to give because when you give, you confirm to yourself that you have more than enough. And that sense of abundance gives you that type of positive energy where it helps you to achieve even more. You know, it's amazing how what you give to others always comes back to you multiply. You know, if you live with an abundance mindset, it's like you become a magnet, you know, where more will come into you. You know, it's amazing how as you pour into others, your cup will continue to overflow, right? It's an amazing concept. So number one is tie, give, give a portion of your income away, right? Um, number two, focus on building a mini emergency fund of at least $1,000, right? $1,000, you wanna take baby steps, right? So for those of you that don't have at least $1,000 saved, make that like a baby step, right? A mini goal to, to save $1,000 in cash to be your mini emergency fund, right? Number, number three, pay off all high interest debt, all high interest debt, pay that off, right? High, and when, when I say high interest debt, I mean like, like interest that's like above 8%, right? If, you're, if you have debt where you're paying and the interest rate is above 8%, really focus on paying that off, right? Because that's, that, that's, that's very high, very high, all right? So pay off all high interest debt. Then number four, um, employer-sponsored retirement fund. If you have a nine-to-five job 
And if your nine to five job offers you um, like a 401k or you work for the government and you're, you're offered the, the TSP, right? If you have any type of like employer sponsored retirement fund, then take advantage of that, but only take advantage of it up to the match, right? The match, because the way that a lot of these retirement uh, funds are, 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 are situated regarding employer sponsored funds. It's where they will match you um, up to a certain limit, right? It might be up to 6%, might be up to 3%, whatever it is, but only, only take advantage of it up to the match, right? Because, you know, up to the match, it's like, it's like free money that they're giving you, right? So take, take advantage of that only, but only up to the match. Now, expand number five, expand your emergency fund to be six months six months of your expenses right expand it expand it right because you it's so important to have that emergency fund emergency fund um number number six and of course you know you want to be paying off debt paying off all debt so so number three was to pay off all high interest debt right but then after that then then attack all the other types of debt that you have as well right you know but but start with the high interest debt of course right um okay Number six, save, uh, save for special purposes, special purposes, like, you know, save up, you know, do you know that you're going to, if you know that you're going to one day, you know, buy another car, right, then start saving for that, you know, future purchase, right, of the car, you know, or, or if you know that you one day you want to buy a home, right, then we'll start saving for the down payment of the home, you know, you want to start early to save for special purchases, right. Number seven, auto invest in a Roth IRA index fund, a Roth IRA index fund. It's important to auto invest because you make it automatic where you don't have to think about it each month. It's just automatically invested, right? From your, from your checking account, right into your mutual fund account, right? You want to make it automatic. You want to automate your saving, right? And you're investing, right? Auto invest into a Roth IRA index fund. Number eight, auto invest in a regular index fund, right? Number nine, turn your passions into profits by building multiple streams of income through entrepreneurship based on things that you love, based on things that you love. It's important to really build based on things that you love because if you truly love it, then it's not gonna feel like work. And if you truly love it, you're going to really be able to build that momentum and you're gonna really be able to build that consistency that's needed to be successful, right? If you truly love it, right? So um, well, where are we? Number 10, number 10, all right, is, uh, is uh, build multiple streams of passive income through business ownership, stock market investing, and real estate investing, right? Now, here's a side note. Some specific examples of passive income streams include index funds, right, that we had talked about earlier, index funds, also online courses, you know, take something that, that you're passionate about and make it into an online course, right, something that you would enjoy teaching, make it into an online course, it's a great way to build passive, a passive stream of income, right, like a platform called Thinkific, you know, you can look into, there's many different platforms, one of the platforms I use is a platform called Thinkific, you know, look into that, really great online course, great way to build passive income. Um, also digital books, digital books, write a book and, and, and make it into a digital book, you know? Look into this platform called Sinal, Sinal. It's a platform where, where you can, you know, um, um, load your, your digital book and then, you know, send out the link and then, you know, people can, can buy your book and, and every time they buy it, just automatically, you get paid, you know? It's just an amazing, amazing source of passive income, passive income. Um, also, high yield savings accounts, high yield savings. There are some high yield saving, savings accounts and you gotta check, different banks offer different terms, but, but there's some banks that offer as high as like above 2%, right? I know that compared to, you know, the index funds and the, and the, and the real estate investing, you know, 2% is not a lot, but it's a great way to diversify your portfolio, right? You know, especially it's super, super safe, right? Super safe. So it's a great way to, 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 to diversify and it really adds up, right? So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on the next video.